Howdy folks, I'm Alex with QC Charge, and today we're going to take a look at how well the battery has held up on this 10 year old RAV4 EV. Alrighty, so this is the car we're taking a look at. This is a 2012 Toyota RAV4 EV, and it's actually almost exactly 10 years old. If we take a look at the sticker here, you can see it was built in July 2012. So we're just shy of 10 years old. And as we can see, taking a look around this car, it's certainly not, not what I would call a cream puff or anything. It's seen its fair share of use. You can see it's got a, a trailer hitch that definitely gets used. seen its fair share of wear and tear. It gets used as a car. It hasn't been somebody's garage queen that they kept park all, parked all the time. I can't show you the mileage right this second since the 12 volt battery is disconnected and I'll get to that in a minute, but this car has just a little over 155,000 miles. So depending on what type of electric vehicle you're looking at, there's various ways to do a battery capacity test. For these cars in particular, the 2012-2014 to 2014 Toyota RAV4 EV, there's a pretty simple test that you can do, although it does take some time. Basically what it involves is fully charging the car all the way on the extended charge mode, and I'll put a little clip of how to do that in the upper left corner here. Once you've finished that step, uh, you know, let the car charge all the way to full until it stops unplug the car, and then what you want to do is, without turning the car on or doing anything else, uh, you want to open the hood and disconnect the 12 volt battery, which you can see we've done here. This car has a little bit of a, a funky reverse terminal setup, but same premise applies. So the next step is we're going to reconnect the 12 volt battery here. And then what we're going to do after that is we're going to start the car. And when we start the car, the gesso meter or the range meter or whatever you want to call it, is going to spit out a, a number. And the reason for disconnecting the 12 volt battery here is it forces the car to basically do a range calculation uh, from scratch. It just uses some baseline number to, to make the calculation with. And the BMS knows how much capacity the battery has. So when we get that range estimate, we can get a good idea of what the actual range is on the car compared to new. So we'll hop in here real quick. And it'll take a little bit for the car to kind of boot up enough to be able to actually start it. I put my foot on the brake pedal here and just wait for a minute. Eventually we'll hear a noise when the steering column unlocks here. Hopefully that's long enough. And now we'll go ahead and hit the start button here. And there we go. So now the car is on. And you can see our range estimate jumped up to 133 miles. Oh, just went down to 132. Well, you, we'll, we'll use the, the 132 for this test since uh, that seems to be kind of where it topped out at. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide that number by 145, and that'll give us our range in comparison to when the car was new as a percentage. Alrighty, well that wraps it up, folks. As you saw, this 10-year-old Toyota RAV4 EV with 155,000 miles still retains about 90% of its original battery capacity, which is, you know, pretty impressive considering the kind of life that this car's had. You know, it hasn't been, you know, a garage queen or anything. Somebody's used it as an actual car, you know, put some real use into it, and, you know, they, st they still drive it to this day. So we've done a, a few things to it to, to keep this car running, but it does still have the original battery and uh, hopefully it'll keep going for a long time to come. 
If you have any questions about your EV or need help with servicing, feel free to give us a call at QC Charge. Thanks for watching.